Yeah, I'm going to bang the one, though. On outside zone. On outside zone versus like a non-technique? Yeah, they just say, yeah, uh, in line with a non-technique. Correct. So, non-technique, outside zone, you got to tell me. My aiming here is basically crotch of my defender. Okay? Uh -huh. I want to cover that up. I want to get center of the body. Okay. okay. So, if I can get a good step. We're in time to take the first step. Ready to go? Boom. See how he's basically right at the crotch right yes. now? Okay. Yes. I want them knowing and thinking that. All right. Okay. Without, without us having to say it. So now we get our second step in the ground quickly, and now we can just read and react okay. to this guy. Okay. But I think it gets us in a good position when we get the yeah. step to the crotch first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that answers your question. Yeah. Question protecting inside. Absolutely. 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 Now, there is something that we do different versus a six technique if we are trying to get him reached. There's only one block in this offense where we try to get a six technique reached, uh -huh. and that's pin pull. Okay. And we got two pullers coming behind us. Okay. Okay. In that situation there, we have to get him reached. Well, we've started working this year, uh -huh. so if I'm trying to get him reached, I'm on the left side of the ball, and I was trying to get this, this guy reached. Mm -hmm. All before, we would step with his outside foot mm -hmm. and basically just try to cover it up. Sure. Okay. But this defender right here, he's reading us. Sure. So if I step outside, He's fighting outside. Right. So right. what we've started doing is an influence step, basically. Sure. All right, so if I got my left hand now, I'm on the left side of the ball, and I'm trying to get this guy reached. We basically started here, here, and then cover it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's, if you're having problems with reach blocks on six techniques, mm -hmm. I, I I mean, I suggest you at least try it. Sure. Especially if this guy is reading your block mm -hmm. really heavy. All right, sure. so again, I come off the ball, say go out, step here, and then all of a sudden, sure. it's better to try to cover him up that way. Gotcha. Versus the six table. Sure. If you want, everybody don't like outside zone getting cut back up. Sure. Okay, so if, if you're still trying to get that outside of the tight end, try that influence step if you get into trouble. Sure. You're having trouble with Call that a directional step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other <coughs> direction step with a six technique. Kurt, you got anything? Yeah. Kurt, you get a seven technique versus that? We do get a seven technique. You're going to get an eight block, down block with that and wrap the tackle? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. All right. And we treat our landmark on the seven technique with the same as the nine technique, step in the crowd. Cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, Greg, get up here. Seven technique. Right here. Okay. I'm treating it just like a nine. <laughs> I'm stepping center right at the crotch. Gotcha. So now I can read and react. And it's always, it's never, some people teach reach blocks vertical. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I mean, not vertical, horizontal and up. I have never once taught these guys to ever step right next to themselves. Everything is always vertical pushing. All right, so if I got this seven technique, I'm here. I'm not here. Sure. Right, I'm here. And now, if he goes this way, boom, second step, I can cover him up, sure. come back. I'm here. Boom, now he goes here. He goes back outside. I can still get my next foot in the ground and cover him up. Whereas, if I step in here, and he's coming back up field, and he goes that way. Now I'm already having to fight at the line of scrimmage. Sure. I always want to meet that guy. Sure. Everything is vertical. Yeah. And I, I try to instill that in these guys' heads mm -hmm. that nothing is ever, definitely not backwards, but not right next to you. Sure. I don't care where you're going. You're going up field somehow. You should be able to somewhere. meet him with your second step. Right? Yes, sir. You should be able to meet yes, him with second step. Absolutely. Any other of those one-game questions? Thank you. Any of them? Please, shoot it if you got it. You no, know, it's good? All right. Talk some releases, please. Releases, releases, releases. Release, release. yeah. so, let's talk about some tight end separation top of the route. We'll do lean and snap first. Lean and snap first. So we'll get two guys. My inside guy right here is going to be my offensive guy. Okay? We just press it to five yards into a D. Okay? So the feature point here, okay? Using the big body to lean, no extension. I'm actually going to show first, all right? Thank you, dropping right there. Thank you, uh, each body extraordinaire. All right. all right, so basically what I'm doing, I'm going to get on this side so they can see. All right, so if I'm breaking into my dig here, I'm at tight end. All right, I'm going to say blue ready to go. We're going to go. They're basically going to jog in place here. So he's going to use his big body to lean, and then now it is low, out, and down, okay? No, out, and down. All right, we're down and out, sorry. So again, I'm here, I'm snapping down, low, down, out, 
and break out, all right? Basically using the body, I just call the drill lean and snap, okay? And basically, you're just using that big body and man cup, all right? This versus man cup, so we're gonna break to the right here. We're gonna dig to the right, just top of the route, five yards. All right, Blue. Already set three. Blue. Blue. I want you to chop. Blue. Ready to go? It's slow motion. Fast. Boom. Down and out. Good. Notice that they're using elbow. Boom. Down and out. Down and out. No extension like this. Okay? All elbow. Really use your body to lean on them. Blue. Ready to go? I need more lean. More lean. Lean on more. Lean on more. Blue. Ready to go? <laughs> lean. Oh! I really like to see with these guys. I start them up high on purpose because I want them to feel what they have to do at the top of the route, which is get down here and break it down. Chest over knees, chin over toes. So I want them to feel the height change when they get here. I want them to be up here so they can boom, boom. So they can actually feel it. Feel it and see it. All right. Over here. Blue. Ready to go? <coughs> All right. Break down. We oh, need a snap. Good. Right away. Blue. Ready to go? <coughs> right. We can use this for multiple different routes right here, Cam. All right. We can also use this on the corner route. All right. So now we'll break the corner this way. All right. Loop. You're. Loop. You're the one on offense. All right, blue, ready to go. We high, get a height change, break out to the corner. Again, you got two balls, right? <laughs> you're fine. Blue, ready yeah. to go. Yeah, you're good. Up high, lean on them, low. Oh. Good, coming back, again, again. <laughs> again, guys, five yards. We rarely, in endo groups, run full routes. It's always top five of them. Top five of the route, just to not burn them out. Blue, <clears throat> ready to go. Our knees, height change. Another thing I'm glad Tommy did that. I feel like I'm correcting Tommy more than anybody today because he's a running back now and not a tight end. Yeah. These guys, when they're making their cuts, <laughs> make sure they're not outside of their framework, okay? What I mean by that is that we can make any cut we have six inches outside of ourselves, right here. We can be effective with that. When you start making these big, long steps, you're slow out of it. All right, so what I saw out of Tommy just now, the reason I would call him back is that he got here, come on, and he was running, and he went, and now he's gonna be slow out of that, okay? So I want that cut to be inside of the framework, Tommy, okay? So again, right here, Luke and me, Luke ready to go, I'm here. All right, boom. Very subtle, low, down and out with the elbow. All right, go again, Tommy. See if you listen to coach. Blue. Ready to go? All right, so this is a great drill. No better. Why not the cut? All right. Again, one more time, one more time right here, then we'll work throw by. We'll work throw by. Tommy, ball back. Blue. Blue. Ready to go? Down and out. Good. Good. Yeah, come on back, Tommy. All right, so that's lean and snap. That's what we got. A defender playing inside of us. And we got an outbreaking route, all right? Or a defender playing outside of us, and we got an in-breaking route, all right? So now I'm working somebody that's hip to hip. We call this a throw-by drill. It is imperative, imperative that we get low on this drill here. So we're going to be breaking into a dig, okay? So we'll be running blue, ready to go. He gets here, and all of a sudden, it's a quick snap down, hand on the back and through. The biggest mistake that you'll see on this drill here when we're working this one is that we'll get here and the guy start riding the hand on the back. What does the defender feel at that point? We're stopping. We don't want that. We don't want that. So again, I'm here. I mess with these guys a lot, but I really want to hear them smack the back right here. All right. So we're ready to go. We're here. Break it down. Okay. Right. Super quick. Right. Okay, then. Super quick. We still got it. <laughs> what we say all right here is that every route is a go until it's not all right so every the demeanor going into every single route has to be go even if i'm running a speed out and i only got four steps to sell a go 
So I gotta run my tail off in four steps. And that gotta be the hardest four steps I ever ran, all right? So don't show the hand ride on the back. It's a go until we snap down and it's not, all right? Go. Yes, sir. Ready to go. <laughs> all right, Jay. Good, there you go. Blue. Ready to go. All right, Jay. Yeah. Understand, this defender is not just going to let you. All right, has to be some aggression with it. Blue, ready to go? Sting him up, Gray. No, no, no. <laughs> Blue, ready to go? All right, change. One more rep, one more rep right here. Blue, Blue. ready to go? All right, change. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Coach, what do you call that throw? I call that throw by. Throw by? Throw by, and the other one was just lean and snap. I call it snap, lean, snap, snap. <laughs> I got one more drill that I got that's good for getting extra yards at tight end. It's called uh, drop step. All right, so let's get our ball route right here. Ball route. I like to line up directly, like on a hash mark, okay? I like to throw them a certain way. They're just going to do a setup in front of me, and they're going to catch the ball and work literally a drop step in, like in basketball, straight up the field. Because too often we catch the football, you know, and we catch it and we doing all of that. And I get tackled one yard, all right? I like them to be on a, have a visual cue, catch the ball, drop step, whatever direction the ball takes them, all right? And I like to throw them a certain direction on purpose, all right? Because normally quarterbacks gonna throw it away from the defender. All right, blue, ready to go. <laughs> Drop basketball, drop step, break down the head. Blue, where'd it go? Blue, where'd it go? Remember, the direction the ball takes you. The direction the ball takes you. Blue, where'd it go? Good, drop step, quick. And this allows us guys, tight end, big body, we get the ball third and six. This is that extra one or two yards you just <coughs> might need. Blue, ready to go? Drop still. Again. Oh, yeah, Mark. Y'all brain going crazy right now.